Hello everyone, Vita Z32 back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play a game called Sobelt, which is by James Ernest and Crab Fragment Games, link in the description. And it uses this six uh, suited deck called the Island Deck. There's two different versions. This is the Flower Back, but there's also a Beach Back, which was not as nice in my opinion. And, um, it's a six-suited deck. You got cards that go from ace through uh, seven in each of the suits. And you also got kings and queens in each suit. And the suits in this game, they rank kind of alphabetically, so anchors and then... Uh, And then there's boats, and then there's crab, and then I guess there's dolphin, and then there is also, what else we have in here? I guess flower, and then palm or tree. And that's important in the event in case there is, say two people play fives, and you need to figure out which one is higher, which one is lower, that's where you do the tie break. So in this game, each player is going to get four cards. I'll just do a four-player game. It's for three to six players. Each player gets four cards to start. And then they're going to deal out. You're actually going to deal out as if you're dealing for six players. No matter how many players you do. And you take out these extra cards. So that you have a 30-card deck left. So that you have an even amount, uh, so that you have 30 cards because you're going to be dealing out six face up. And then that way you get five rounds, five hands out of each one, basically. So then you're going to do that. You're going to deal out six cards face up. Each player is going to look at their hand. And they're going to play a card face down in front of them. Maybe I choose that two. This guy says I'll do that. And, uh, I'll do that. So what you're trying to do is, these cards that you play are going to be played into a tableau. It's going to be five or six cards. And you're going to use those to score points at the end of the game. Each card is going to be worth their number value. Court cards are worth five points each. And, um, but any cards you have left in your hand, they're going to be negative points. If the exception being pairs. If you have a pair in your hand, like for instance, if I have a pair of sixes in my hand at the end of the game, they cancel each other out and they are zero points. So if this is what I had at the end of the game, I would have five points. But you're going to try to eliminate it. Now what you're going to do is that everyone selects the card, you play it face down, then everyone flips it. You actually have some ties. So we're going to look at whichever card is lowest. In this case, it's the anchor, A. And they're going to select a card from these six to add to their hand. Probably something they're going to want to play. Looking at their hand here. They'll take the four. And maybe they'll play that coming up soon. Next is going to be this person. And they'll get their hand here. And you know, maybe they choose the five. And... This guy, looks at his hand, maybe he chooses the king. And then finally, it comes to me. I forgot about the tie break, but he definitely goes first anyway. And I'm going to choose, I don't want the ace, obviously, because I can't play it. You're playing the cards sequentially, so I cannot play the ace after a two. That's why I played my lowest card first, as did everyone else. So I'm going to take the four. I'm going to play it right away. These two cards get discarded. And 60 cards come out. So I'm going to play a card face down. It's going to be the four, obviously. Everyone's going to do this. Now, I should mention, when it comes to the king and queen... 
they can be played at any time. And uh, it doesn't affect the value. They have no, in terms of the sequential order, they have no value. But they are going to be the last ones to select. We're going to place these in order here. And so the lowest one here is the palm. And they're going to select, let's say they select three. And the, select the dolphin because that is better than the flower. So then it comes to the three of anchors. Down, they might as well select the six. And then it comes to me, the crab, and I will select five. And then this guy is going to select, I guess he'll select the queen. Uh, yeah, might as well. So then we do that again. We're going to discard these two. Deal out six new cards. And you're going to do five rounds like this. We'll quickly go through a whole game, I guess. And then everyone flips their cards face up in their row here. The lowest one is the three, so they're going to go first. And they're going to select, let's say they select the king. Next is the four. We're going to select, um, I guess we'll select the king as well. When it comes to this player, they will select a one, an ace, because at the end of the game, plus comes to sub, that's going to be worth one point. And then it comes to me. No, sorry, I was supposed to select first. My apologies. Maybe I want that ace. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I will take that ace. I'll take this one. Bolt is lower. And then this guy takes the other ace. Let's score these two cards. And deal out. Six more, yeah. one more round after this. At this point, people might start to think about retiring. What this means is they drop out. If they see that, uh, you know, things might not be working out too favorably for them, or they're, they're done. Like, for instance, I might want to think about retiring soon. Now, I'm not going to play the sixes. I'm going to play this queen. And everyone else is going to a card in front of them. Uh, so we flip them over, and the, the king and queen, of course, the, will be among the last to select. So this guy's going to go first. And he is going to, mm, I guess, take a five. Then it comes to this guy, play the five. He's going to take, let's say he takes the queen. And it comes to this guy, and he says, you know, I'm going to, He's going to take, he's going to actually retire. He's just going to retire outright instead of taking a card. Actually, it's my selection first because I have the queen. So I'm looking at this and I'm going to retire. So when you retire, you turn your card sideways. This card is actually going to be doubled now in points. And this guy is going to do the same thing. And we don't select any cards. So these are all gone. Both of us are out. 
So we're gonna do one more round with these last two plates. <clears throat> and this guy's looking at his hand. He's definitely gonna play this. And this guy is going to play, I guess he'll play this. And eight to reveal the card. This guy has the six, you go first. And I guess he's gonna take this king. Doesn't matter which one at this point. And this guy is next and he is, <laughs> he's also gonna take a king, incidentally. Now, in this, since this is the last round and uh, two players have not retired as of yet, we could play one final round without any cards in the middle. Each player will just play a card just to see who will retire first because everyone but one player needs to retire. And so they both reveal. And this guy retires, so he's gonna get to flip this one. I don't believe that one counts. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure if that's. Hang on. <laughs> Technically, he can't play this five, so I'm not sure if he can retire playing that card. So let's say he plays a king instead. This guy, you know, they both play these cards. This guy plays a queen, this guy the king. This guy plays this, and he can retire. And this guy just has to add it to the end of the line. And that is it. But generally, I think you're not going to end up in that, you don't, you can end up in that situation where you play one final round as like a, final tiebreaker, but it doesn't always happen. So now you're going to score points. And each card is worth the point value, the face value. So I got 5, 9, 11, plus it says 5 times 2, so it's 10 points. So 21 points is what I have, but there's going to be a minus. Now, because these calculate set are out, that's a 0. So I'm going to subtract 1. So I have... 20 points is what I have. And then everyone else is going to score theirs as well. This guy would have twelve, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-two. 16, 19, 22, minus, these can't touch that out, minus 5 though. And it, this guy has what he has here. So 10. Uh, 15, 26, 29, minus 5. It cancels, it cancels down, of course, because it's a pair. So he's going to be minus 5. So what is that? 21 or something. And this guy, same thing. 7, 11, uh, 13, plus 10 is, uh, I can't count. 23 minus 122. So yeah, that's kind of the game. Hopefully it makes some sense. Now these guys do not get 10 points because it's a court card. It's not a 10, it's 5 points. But because it's the last card, it gets doubled. Just to clarify that. That is the game though. It's pretty cool, I think. I got no complaints. Uh, there's other games you can play with this deck as well. At least one other. Maybe I'll cover it one day. But that is the game comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.